KY3 News starts now. It's been 10 years since the kidnapping, rape, and murder of Haley Owens. Investigators say Craig Wood abducted the 10-year-old girl in broad daylight as she walked down a street in her Springfield neighborhood. We look back at the crime and what's changed for law enforcement since then. Everyone knows of the Haley Owens case in Springfield. Haley, Haley. That feeling of innocence, like, you know, that this will never happen here kind of feeling. Um, everyone really felt uh, that that was robbed from them back in this house. On February 18, 2014, 10-year-old Haley Owens vanished while walking home from a friend's house in Northwest Springfield. Witnesses who saw the girl being abducted in broad daylight described to police the make and model of the vehicle involved, including the license plate number. Springfield Police Major Tad Peters recalls the department's response. Me too put every person we have on this to locate the, that truck and that person as fast as possible. At the time of Owens's disappearance, it took several steps before an Amber Alert could go out. This caused a delay of two hours before the alert was broadcast. Peters says authorities were working as fast as possible to find the young girl. When we have a, a true stranger abduction of a child, um, we know based on past experience, you know, uh, not just our own agency, but in other cases around the country, that uh, the time is pretty short to find uh, a child in that situation before um, bad outcomes start to occur. But it was too late for Haley Owens. Investigators say Craig Wood kidnapped the child, raped, then killed her. A Platte County jury convicted him of first-degree murder, but could not agree on the penalty. Green County Judge Thomas Mountjoy made the decision. For the offense of uh, murder in the first degree, this court assesses and declares punishment to be death for the murder of Haley Owens. Peter says this case changed how the department responds to potential abductions. And we compare other cases when we, we hear of a case developing or hear something on the radio of you know similar circumstances, we say, oh, this could be a Haley Owens type situation. And technology too has changed. In addition to using social media, Peter says the department has more tools. Since we have flock cameras and we have access to all the other cameras within the city. So if this were to happen today and we were given a license plate number of a car to search for, an officer could get on their computer in their car immediately and type in that information and the cameras would start notifying us if the vehicle passed by one of those cameras. On the state level, improvements were made to the Amber Alert system in the wake of the tragedy. I, I think over the course of the last 10 years, uh, there's just been a lot of, uh, of small changes to the system. Haley's law went into effect in 2019. It puts more control at the local level of policing. There will now be no more handwritten paperwork or faxes or scanning like there was previously. That whole process has been streamlined a lot. Uh, to increase uh, the awareness of the public and get those warnings and alerts uh, issued faster. With the idea of getting to children like Haley Owens before it's too late. This is Haley's life. I'm gonna let it shine. Haley Owens would have been 21 years old this year. A playground near the elementary school she attended serves as a memorial. Craig Wood is at death row at Potosi Correctional Center. A date for his execution has not been scheduled. The house where the crime happened was knocked down years ago and is now a community garden.